second case. Second case is completely different for size and and the climate. Is the Blue Nile? I already talked about Blue Nile. This is 170,000 square kilometers. Is in Ethiopia. Is the is the water tower of uh, East Africa. And in fact, at the closure of this of this catchment, uh, Ethiopians are building the Rhin uh, what they call the Renaissance Dam, a big dam which is closing the, the water. And uh, you know, the, the potential it is very dangerous because they can uh, keep the water for themselves and not giving, for instance, to Sudan and to Egypt. And uh, it is a, 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 a case of international trade of water and the uh, discussion are going on between the Ethiopian and the Sudan and Egypt for uh, sharing the water the right way. And uh, this was uh, one of the, uh, the thing that uh, what interested us to, to be able to to have a, a, a tool for uh, giving in this uh, international context uh, some uh, uh, in, uh, some results. We have 35 weather station and gauge station inside the basins all over the area. Not, we have 12 in 100 square kilometers. And here we have 35 in 175,000. So information was la much less. So uh, we didn't we, we couldn't rely to to have uh, to have information about, for instance, precipitation. The right information about precipitation. So uh, the first thing was uh, which kind of precipitation should we have? So we went to analyze a, a few satellite products. You see here, <laughs> and uh, the spatial distribution of product of, of the of the rainfall. I don't remember what it is, but it's pretty large. So here we we essentially was not reasonable to divide the catchment in very small sub catchments, like one two square kilometers. Even if me, uh, we we have the, the the power the power for calculus, so we divided in four four hundred and two. I, I I I remember subcatchments. We use this satellite data, and uh, <coughs> uh, we uh, the, the the problem with the satellite data was that they were they were very biased with respect to the results that we get from uh, from uh, from the gauge. So we use the gauge for eliminating the bias. How large was the bias? In one point, the bias was 2,000 millimeters a year. <laughs> no. So this operation was quite necessary. I don't know if we did properly, but I guess we did uh, decently. So we uh, we came out at the end using both the information of the of the, the network on the ground and the satellites. Uh, we came out with this precipitation estimate. Um, yes. In your configuration of of it is possible to. Oh, okay. If you use. A if you apply the those the basin in, in the configuration uh, we saw yesterday, we should uh, create uh, a, huge a, a huge number of, uh, yes. of directories. Yes. Uh, but uh, the, the, did you do for this paper? Sorry? Did you do for this paper? Uh, this paper actually uses a different configuration where all the all the stuff was done inside the component, which is called the RDJ component, that mm -hmm. did all inside. And uh, if you want to verify the specific configuration, <coughs> okay, okay. you should create a... Uh, uh, 400, yes. But 
Uh, in, at the end, if you look at the structure of the SIM file, uh, most of the, of the SIM files are similar. So at least at the basis, you can create another small program that creates the SIM file that you, in the directory you require. Mm -hmm. So now we ask you for, for doing, doing it by hand, but it's possible to automatize the thing. So far, we were not interested to automatize because uh, we were mostly interested to set up the whole stuff. As you see here, you have the rainfall amount. This is uh, the daily average in the, in the annual amount. As you see in the east part, uh, the, you have the monsoon coming from the Indian Ocean. So in some season, you have a lot of rainfall on the east and less rainfall on the, <coughs> on the west. You have also uh, some different uh, in topography because we have a, a highland uh, in some parts, uh, <coughs> quite high, so the climate is not so arid and it actually is humid and empty. So the modeling solution at least the calibration phase that we, we implemented was this one where the uh, uh, where the yellow stuff, uh, everything is yellow here, the more, <laughs> the more yellow square means part that were actually uh, done by hands, not automatically. Potentially they can, uh, they can, became, can become uh, components that uh, deal the thing, but we didn't implement it. So uh, this is the component that is still available, which is called Adige, because we have first applied to the Adige River for doing the analysis, which is different from the one. The one I, I showed you yesterday to you is much more separated in part. This was the first trial. It, it is a big component with a lot of stuff inside. And we use Presentator. We, have, we use also another satellite product to get the cloud cover and um, to get to cope the radiation with cloud cover for about transpiration. The, the, and uh, uh, the bias correction was uh, doing by hand. We use a, a third satellite product with us, Grace. We didn't use Grace in the, in. Uh, it, we didn't fuse the data with GRACE. Uh, GRACE is a, a gravimetry. It's going the, the weight of water falls inside the, the basin. So uh, essentially, is a way the satellite is able to uh, understand how much the local gra uh, gravity is changing there, depending on ma how ma much mass water was inside. Uh, the uh, sensitivity of this uh, of race is large, so you you can rely <coughs> on, uh, on this data if you have a catchment larger than or uh, larger than 100,000 square kilometers, more or less. So there is 200,000. You can have, let's say, uh, you can do a global evaluation with race. So we use uh, the same procedure we did before, but now the inputs were completely different. And uh, we repeat the experience with these charges. Ah, oh, we were not going to forecast hourly discharges here. Our goal was to forecast daily discharges. Much easier in a sense. But the basis was large and and uh, large enough. We do, uh, did we use the same model? Yes, we used the same, uh, we, yes, we used the same model. Just the parameters were calibrated differently. On different data, so they have different values. And uh, also here we did uh, the same experiment. We calibrate the data at the outlet and then we went to uh, see uh, how good was the reproduction <coughs> of uh, of the discharges inside, and contrary to literature, also in this case, we have a good reproduction of the discharges inside. 
because of, uh, this probably means that uh, uh, if we have a, a proper description of the rainfall amount and, and this special distribution and uh, <coughs> the engine, all the engine react well. The only point where we, we, we didn't have good reproduction in a couple of points, one is the, where there is the Tana Lakes over there. Our uh, forecasting of this judge uh, was not so, so good, but that the water is regulated <coughs> and we didn't account there for regulation. So it's uh, also interesting to see that we are wrong when we have to be wrong. Uh, same, same type of maps. Uh, uh, okay, we, here we were comparing actually the evapotranspiration we were reproducing with the uh, modest product. The modest product as the GLEAM product as other pro products are not exactly satellite measurements. They are satellite measurement plus some uh, hydrological modeling. That uh, sometimes is specified, sometimes it is a little bit more obscure. So we are comparing, it, uh, in a sense, the results of two different uh, uh, forecasting change, modeling change. And as you see, we have a much, uh, much variety here, and except for this, for these uh, uh, figures here. So, but uh, are we right, or is a T product modest T right? <coughs> I think we are more controlled than than modest. But you know. At least uh, we we show that there is a difference. Uh, we <coughs> expose our procedure and uh, we let to the audience to <laughs> understand if uh, uh, who who is uh, more correct on this side. Sometimes the differences are, uh, can be important. So, for instance, for uh, going to uh, rural agriculture, this can make difference. We, uh, uh, we uh, on a, honestly, I don't know if we are right or if, if we are wrong, but uh, yeah, the difference is there and uh, we have uh, to investigate as a researcher to, know, to get a better result and more convergent result. In the case of the last column, did you check if the, the sky was cloudy? Because if the sky is cloudy, probably more is... Ah, uh, uh, yeah, that's okay. Can be, yeah. Uh, we we use the cloud inside our model. Yeah, but in the case of in Morris, the case of Modis, uh, I don't, I, we don't know. We just take the because it, it basically interpolates. Yes. And uh, yeah, we we just uh, we just took the the, the product as a black box. So, but this is a warning because also for, you know, maybe you, you, you will not do this uh, job at the, at the end of in your uh, life, but uh, at least you have to know that uh, satellite measurement as any other product uh, can be questioned. Or that uh, forecasting th this stuff is not a, a given, product because it happens to me to go to some um, uh, European uh, community officer in some project and go says but we know all of that there are guys in our centers that give us the results any day so <laughs> so there is some the, at least the, uh, the psychological position is cheating. See, yes, we have estimates, but this estimate can be highly wrong. And so we can discuss it. We reproduce here the same budget that the, 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 in the case of Cosina River for each of the of the subcatchments. You have to keep in mind here that subcatchment is 400 square kilometers, so it's one point in 400 square kilometers. 
the mass budget is closed, <laughs> which is our, our thing. And we see that again, we have difference in the also different in the, the variation of soil storage. This is the variation, so it is not the uh, is not the absolute value of the soil storage, but this is a, a great indication, obviously, for both for, um, for agriculture. We can reproduce the same month. You see, uh, you see here how the precipitation is going uh, up there, because here we have monsoon, so it's a completely different type of climate than before. And so we reproduce, and also here we reproduce the budget, the monthly budget. And uh, you see clearly that we have months where we we have uh, the storage, the variation of storage is uh, uh, positive, and the other is which is negative, positive when we have uh, we have uh, uh, positive where we have rainfall, obviously. But this is not so obvious as it can be in saying that, because in some times, in other case, we see that when we when we have a lot of rainfall. So we have, the, uh, we have, for instance, production of a runoff, not the production of storage. And uh, this, uh, the difference between this catchment and the positive catchment we saw before is that here we have evaporation is around 60 percent <coughs> uh, at, at, uh, at the end. In the other case, the positive, which is in the humid area, evaporation is around 30 percent. From one side is a uh, uh, water limited and the other side is energy limited, more or less. So finally we have we did a, a bl blind comparison with the grace result, meaning grace is me measuring the oscillation uh, in the in the gravity. And our result completely goes not cheating there, at least uh, to my knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> no cheating there. So that's the quite confirmation that we were doing the things right. <coughs> so that was the second case. <coughs> <coughs>